Hi, I'm Alex Ortega. I'm a real estate agent here in Vero Beach and Sebastian. And if you are looking to move into a community with no HOA fee and you're looking to get away from Vero Beach, then Sebastian Highlands is the community for you. I'm gonna go over everything from amenities, some homes for sale, what there is to do, and just the location and the public school system as a whole. So if you wanna know more information, then stick along. This is the right video for you. When you Sebastian Highlands is a community located along the Treasure Coast which development began in 1959 and since then has grown to around 7.49 uh, square miles and it's located on both the north and south side of County Road 510 right in between 95 and US 1 so it's in a prime location not to mention the community has flourished so now home buyers can buy a variety of styles anywhere from the, you know the 1959 that has been renovated to brand new home builds with a brand new lot so that's just something to consider when moving if you're looking for an area with no HOA fee and you want to just bring your RV jet ski and park it on your yard and not have to worry about too too much you're located pretty close to the Sebastian Inlet as well as 20 minutes away from Vero. So it's not a far drive by any means, but definitely has more of that, uh, that suburbs feel. So the public school system is going to be Pelican Island Elementary, Sebastian Elementary, Sebastian Middle, uh, Sebastian River High School. There are private schools you can enroll your child into if you want that as well. Going over some of the statistics in February of 2023, Compared to last year, home prices are actually up 9.9%. So it's holding its value. It's in a prime location, as well as the median home price is around 341,000, but you can find homes ranging from the 250s, 280s, all the way up to the $600,000 mark. So let's take a look at what Sebastian Highlands has to offer. I'm actually gonna take you right across the street. I'm at Garden View Park right now, and we are going to go to Barber Street Park and take a look at um, some of the amenities that Barber has to offer for your kids. It's a great place to raise a family. Let's go. So we are not even 20 seconds down the road and we're already at Barber Street Park Sports Training Complex. And there's everything from baseball fields, football fields, a skate park, um, a playground, a multi-purpose field used for soccer. So behind me, there's actually two little league fields, an intermediate field for baseball and softball, as well as a senior field as well as batting cages back in the back. So it's very family friendly and an easy place just to go and take your kids right across the street from your home. And if not, it's a maybe a two minute drive. So depending on where you live in the Highlands, this is a pretty desirable area just being around um, a lot of amenities and it's easy to take your kids to football practice, baseball practice, and just make it, um, make it a great environment to raise a family. So I'll go over and show you the football field as well as the basketball courts maybe a little bit of the skate park but then I'll take you to Riverview Park so let's go across the street I'll show you what is over there so as you can see behind me there's the Sebastian creative playground as well as the fire department is located right there so actually a pretty convenient place to have a fire department in case some kids get hurt God forbid but you have the multi uh, you have the multi sports uh, field so the soccer field and then the batting cages right out there back in the corner and let's take you across the street we'll show you the football fields the skate park and then we'll get going as you can see we're right across the street from the playground and as you can see we have the football fields behind me and the skate park so the football fields you have flag football ranging from four to six and then tackle goes from seven to 14 and then you are off to your high school sports but that's pretty much it for the barber street park sports training complex let's take a look at some of the homes and then we'll go to riverview park so we are about one minute away from barber street it is actually right down there at that stop sign you can see very family friendly 30 mile an hour speed limit this is actually the first home which is right behind me right there it is a three bedroom two bath listed at 329.9 and it is a concrete block home so depending on when you're seeing this video this may still be available may not be just depending um, but it's kind of a good a good idea for what you could get in Sebastian so you're still maybe five minutes away from the uh, Riverview Park in the river and then 10 minutes away from the beach everything is well maintained as you could tell by the neighbors right across the street so 
this is definitely an option. I'll show you a couple more houses and then we'll get going to some other parts of Sebastian Highlands area that um, you may want to stop by and just take a look at if you're looking to move. So now we are on Coverbrook Lane just to give you a different perspective and a whole new outlook. You can purchase a new build for $379.9. It's a Miranda built home four bedroom, two bath, concrete block home. So you know it's not going anywhere if a hurricane comes and you see the perks of living in the highlands. So you don't have to worry about um, parking your RV, parking your boat, um, truck, any of those hassles that come with living in an HOA. And it's still a very well-kept community. So you can see from around me, everyone takes care of their, um, of their homes. And we are right off of Barber. So it's a quiet suburban neighborhood. Um, you don't have to live on Barber Street, it is busy, or I mean, depending on your aspect of busy and where you're coming from, living on the main road, especially backing out of your driveway could be an issue. But again, you're right across the street from Barber, so right back there, and you don't have to worry about um, taking your kids to practice or any of that stuff. But this is definitely another option as far as living in the Sebastian Highlands area. So we are on Bay Harbor Terrace just to kind of give you an idea of the Highlands area. This is right off of Coverbrook Lane. So this is the area. You could tell everything is uh, well kept, well maintained. Um, you know that pool homes are definitely going to go for a little bit more, but I would definitely recommend it when those summer months come around. But they're mostly concrete block frame homes and don't get deterred when you hear frame. You know, that's something that a lot of people, they want to purchase a brand new concrete block home because it definitely will save them more on insurance, but it averages around 700 just for ballpark figures. But this is the Sebastian Highlands area and let's go take a ride to Riverview Park and see what it has to offer down there. So it's going to be maybe a five, 10 minute drive and yeah, let's go check it out. So we, we are actually passing the elementary school. So this is Sebastian Elementary School. They are the sea turtles. So that's around two minutes away from the Highlands area. So just know everything is in close proximity. And just like that, we're at Riverview Park. So depending on where you live in the Sebastian Highlands area, this is a uh, three to five minute drive. So very close to the Highlands area. You have a park right back there. You have sand volleyball courts. You have a splash pad right over there, as well as uh, there's docks. So you could fish off the docks and there's constant festivals being held in Riverview Park. So whether it's the Shrimp Fest, Craft uh, Brew Hullabaloo, River Days was just this past weekend, and now they have concert in the park. So there's no shortage of family-friendly activities to go out and explore. And if you saw my video on Ocean Drive, there was a restaurant called Mulligan's. There's another one right behind me in this corner in Sebastian as well. So it's on the river, so another great place to just stop at, eat if you're in the area and want to take a little break from house hunting. So. If you're a boater, let's take you to the boat dock and let's see what it has to offer. Okay, I lied. So I figured why not show you guys the docks as well as a little bit more of the Riverview Park area. So as you can see right here, you have the splash pad and this road right over here um, is actually where they hold all the parades. So they have um, the 4th of July, Christmas, all those parades that go on right on this main road. So another family friendly activity as well as as you can see, you can walk the dogs, take the kids out, and you'll see people running these trails. So this is actually a dock that you can fish off of. And you see these islands, you can actually take your boat or uh, we actually kayaked and you could camp out there for free. There's a, some of them have a grill. So that's another aspect where it's a more affordable, family friendly thing to do that you know, still holds that, that small town charm and you don't have to worry about your cars. You can leave them right over there parked and just enjoy the river. So we have mulligans right over here again. And as you can see all these houses along the water, while this is technically not considered the Sebastian Highlands area, it's another place you can look. But now let's go to the boat dock. Okay, so as you can see, we're here by all the trailers. So this is another spot roughly five, 10 minutes away from the Highlands area that you can come drop your boat off and get in the water. There's also a bar right there. So the Tiki bar and you can have some drinks on the water as well as uh, Captain Hiram's, which there is a resort. I recommend if you're coming here, just stop there 
check out the um, check out Captain Hiram's, check out the resort, get a feel for what uh, Sebastian is like. I actually did uh, St. Baldrick's there not too long ago for um, childhood cancer. So, you know, I went shaved my head. They have tons of events there as well. But if you'd like this information a little bit more than some of the just standing talking head videos, leave a comment below. And if you have any questions about the area, please feel free to reach out. I'm Alex Artiega. I'm a realtor here in Vero Beach and Sebastian. So if you need my information, it'll be on the screen, but I will see you guys in the next video.